So good evening, good evening, everyone. This is Vineet Pandey, and this is a live session on the Great Bard, William Shakespeare. So, पढ़ाई कैसे चल रही है आप लोगों की? ज्योतिषना जी कह रही हैं जल्दी जल्दी शुरू हो जाइए. रोबोट नहीं हो, इंसान हूँ. Rachi Arora, not good. Why? Before we go the uh, we, before we go for the topic of William Shakespeare, let's talk about your preparation for five minutes. It will help other students to be live because many of uh, uh, many of the students are not very sharp and uh, they must be busy in some evening routines, evening duties. There are many women they are cooking still in the uh, and must be preparing food for the family. So we'll wait for five minutes. Tab tak I will answer your queries. So, Kalpana not satisfied. Why? Juhi, you have culture study. Abhi kyu padna hai? Tell me. You know what? Ninety percent people fail because of misguidance. Prachi Arora, who told you that there are only few days? Yar, pura October, November, or pandra din kam se kam iska padha September ka more than anything. Do you think people, those who are teaching you, are far better than you? Even I was like one of you. It's okay. It's normal. The more you, uh, you know, keep studying, this will increase your uh, pressure, and uh, you will be no doubt. You will be trouble. I must tell you this. This is just the pressure which will trouble you. Don't be uh, in stress. Guru Sakshat Parabrahma Tasmay Sri Guru Enama. Yes, I read that. Thank you so much. Are love Benival only one writer every day? You go in the details. Kalpana doesn't matter if you are not able to read for eight hours, go for four hours, three hours, but do what exactly you want to do. See, uh, okay, I'll answer you this thing. When you work hard, then you fear of your result when you fear of your result you work more harder and when you go in the depth of things it actually creates stress for you stress makes you feel that we need more time stress makes you feel that we need more books maybe the other one has better notes the other one has better copies and this actually diverts you from qualifying exam don't worry there are many others log yaar 50 to 3% pe pass ho ke aapko padhate hain aapko kya knowledge hai you are already in good hands don't worry See, if you are scared, you will not qualify. Trust me. I met a student. He is my student. He is from Andhra, has qualified net. So I asked him that, uh, like, why don't you come to the class? Because he has come back to learn from me, but not coming to the class. So he told me that he was, wasn't able to pay the renewal fees. So I said, okay, you come to the class because you have come to Delhi. So I have to go. He said, I'm getting scared even after qualifying net. I said, you are qualified. Why are you scared? He said, because I think, what if I didn't perform the same thing again? It hardly matters. Just give your best. Yaar, aadhe se jada log aapko padha rahe hain, jinka dubara kabhi net nahi nikla hai. Wo aapko padha padha ke professor bane hoi hai. To aapko kya dar na hai? Always give your best for your preparations. Always remember. Achha, tell me this thing. Tell me this thing. Do we have 130 crore population? 130 crore ki population, right? Why in 130 crore, just Vineet Pandey can teach you literature on live videos with no helping material at all. Sir, I can sit live kaise bad sakta hon, answering your queries, teaching you facts and having things in the brain. I want people to come. Main, it's been one year I'm asking students to ask their teachers to show their talent on live videos. 10 minute ka recorded videos can be 
done by anyone anybody can mug up and 10 minutes recording videos take 5 days you mug up something you record for 2 minutes you mug up something you record for 2 minutes why people they avoid coming on live sessions because you know what if you have knowledge if you have worked hard then you can prove it who is teaching you my certificates or me if you say vinith pandey has seven nine nets to jrf but when i come in front of you and i don't know how to teach marjia i'm not criticizing her jab fail ho jaogi na jab uski wajah se fail ho jaogi you'll get to know you will get to know the fail ho jaogi ab aise bhi wo jail mein jane wali hai uska maine statement de diya inspector ko i've given the statement it's not her criticism it's everyone who is deceiving you and is not qualified and if you think it's a criticism ask your teacher that in my class she qualified nahi why after my my class she not able to qualify it's just that andha guru aapko andha guide karega aur aap blind ho jaoge anyway not a problem fail ho jaoge to you will come to me definitely i am not saying either you come to me or go to her i am just saying choose your teacher the one who actually has knowledge the one who actually has knowledge right now we will go for the topic and marjia mehdi uh, uh, tension mat lijiye she's got it's normal thing now let's go for it so today's topic we have william shakespeare the bard of english and who is this man the bard the poet the great writer the bard of avon the greatest writer ever william shakespeare was born 1564 1616 to 1564 mein uska birth hai 1616 uska death hai please mention the point here that we have the authenticity of his baptization baptization means namkaran when you name the kid so we have the authentication of the baptization which means that he was named on 26th of april and the baptization was done after 3 days of the birth that's why we assume it is 23rd i missed a comment so i was just taking the comment here okay that it was for shakespeare so 23 april 23rd april we know that that 26th he was baptized so he was born on 23rd of april now remember what to do william shakespeare is a great writer and we cannot read each and everything for net exam please make sure you remember that so please make sure you remember that that we no let me teach so please make sure you remember that that you cannot read shakespeare completely now what to do remember there are 154 sonnets written by shakespeare and out of these 126 are dedicated to male w h william herbert earl of pembroke and the remaining 26 are dedicated to dark lady which can be mary fitton known as a mistress a dark lady known as mary fitton now the remaining two sonnets 126 sonnet dedicated to best friend w h earl of pembroke william herbert and 26 sonnets dedicated to dark lady who can be mary fitton there was a study it is believed that she was not mary fitton she was lucy a prostitute of london so remember this point that if they ask you the question about the dark lady remember this is mary fitton no need to go for lucy because that is the latest study now what happens here out of 150 so 126 sonnets dedicated to a male which shows that shakespeare had sentiments sentiments for male maybe shakespeare was a gay then 26 sonnets dedicated to lady which means that uh, shakespeare had great uh, kind of you know uh inclination towards male usse ladke zyada pasand the shayad okay shayad not a complete thing okay but remaining two sonnets where are remaining two sonnets 126 26 total 152 we talked about 154 so bache hue do sonnet the remaining two sonnets were separately published in a magazine edited by william jaggard i'm writing the name please check that william jaggard william jaggard please check this name here he edited the magazine passionate pilgrim and in this magazine there were two sonnets separately published now the sonnets were two loves i have of comfort two loves i think uh, my shakespeare my tiger likes shakespeare 
two loves i have of comfort and my when my love swears and second sonnet when my love swears so these two sonnets were published separately now remember this thing it is believed that these two sonnets were personal sonnets and actually talk about shakespeare's extramarital relation or maybe it showed that shakespeare was having two women in his lives two loves i have of comfort or something like that now he has written three long poems venus and adonis and no no shock venus and adonis and rape of lucrezia venus and adonis was written in 1593 and rape of lucrezia was written in 1594 1593 venus and adonis is a love poem deals with the love of venus for adonis but ha le ne de yaar rozi roti ka sawal hai bhai okay okay hold on okay 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 no go 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 सभी ले जाओ सुप्रीज यार पढ़ा दे गो कीप राइटिंग थर्ड पोइट्री लवर्स कंप्लेन्ट शेक्सपियर ज्यादा पसंद आ रहा है चल बात चल बात चल बात चल बात चल सॉरी 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 सो 1593 वीनस एंड एडोनिस इट्स अ लव पोइट्री वेयर वीनस द गॉडेस एफ्रोडाइट शी फॉल्स इन लव विद द शेफर्ड and uh, adonis has been uh, mentioned as a kind of shepherd right to hota kya hai ki adonis wants to go for hunting and uh, venus would come saying that don't go for hunting i want to be with you so adonis thinks that uh, uh, maybe the girl is trying to stop me so that i won't go for hunting to wo flirt karti rehti hai one day goddess venus she knows that if adonis goes for hunting aa shikar khelne jayega to mara jayega she says please don't go today but hunter thinks this guy adonis he thinks that agar uh, this lady is trying to flirt so i should go he goes and gets killed so it's a romantic idealistic story next one rape of lucrezia it deals with a story where a girl was raped by some noble man and he cut her tongue and hands she won't be able to name uh, the person write down the name of the person she won't be able to tell so in short what happens the rape of lucrezia is a serious story then there is one most long poetry written by shakespeare kind of uh, lovers complaint so there is a girl she has been uh, you know crying and uh, she is actually upset so one old man comes to her uh, why are you crying so she says that i have been deceived by my lover and uh, the uh, the old man says that what kind of love you had so uh, she says that that he was very true to me and he was initially in love with me but now something has gone wrong and uh, uh kind of uh, my lover has forgotten me my lover has uh, um, ignored me so there is a beautiful line ek bahut achhi line hai isme oh i may fall again for those infected eyes one of my favorite line infected means jahan pe she says that ki mera jo lover hai uski aankhon mein infection aa gaya matlab ab usse main pasand nahi hu but she says that oh i will still fall for that man main abhi bhi usse pyar karti hu now apart from these things we go for shakespearean stories ab yahan pe before we go for shakespearean stories i must tell you something very important guys remember there had been no shakespeare if there were no university wits so it is only university wits who made shakespeare famous now what i want you to do the online student those who are writing it right now please remember there were seven university wits seven university wits first thing before we talk about university wits i give you a briefing who are university wits elizabethan time was also known for the universities cambridge and oxford and oxford and cambridge started teaching dramaturgy course dramaturgy course means you know that anything related to drama so the course of dramaturgy it resulted in good scholars in good directors in uh very learned people the theater artists were much better now so the term university wit it was coined by george sainsbury sainsbury coined the term university wits and then university wits are also known as ox bridge scholar ox for oxford bridge for cambridge ox bridge scholar ab dekho kya hota hai yahan pe hota ye hai 
genus trivets there were seven people now we will name them so first of all christopher marlow let's go for the heading christopher marlow the best university wet the best uh, scholar in the group of university wet writer of dr foster then three thomas three colors that's my way to remember three thomas thomas laws l o d z e thomas kid k y d thomas nash n a s h e three colors robert green hara john lily red lal and george pele p w e l e yellow so these seven university wet they made the way for shakespeare it is believed they paved the way for shakespeare shakespeare ko inhone banaya now most of the students have no idea that why these university wets are related to shakespeare so i'll tell you this this is very important video john uh, please know john lily he is the one who was known for his high standard conversation style high standard conversation style he taught shakespeare the royal language which is also known as euphemism e u p h e u i s m if you ism or you can call it e u p h e u m i s m euphemism which means the highly uh, kind of uh, dignified way of talking aap kisi ko bolte ho khana kha le how do you ask person to eat you say uh, eat it roti kha lo uh, gusse mein mummy bolti hai meri jab main tv dekhta rehta hu bolti hai khana dhus lo lekin when you ask someone ki प्लीज तशरीफ रखिए भोजन ग्रहण कीजिए दैट्स यूफ्यूम स्टाइल सो दैट्स हाउ यू एक्चुअली टॉक अबाउट द रॉयल क्लास बिकॉज रिमेंबर द वे किंग्स टॉक इज ऑलवेज डिफरेंट सो जॉन लिली टॉट शेक्सपियर द डिग्निफाइड लैंग्वेज द रॉयल एटीट्यूड द रॉयल बिहेवियर्स रॉबर्ट ग्रीन रॉबर्ट ग्रीन इज द फर्स्ट क्रिटिक ऑफ शेक्सपियर एंड टॉट हेम प्लॉट कंस्ट्रक्शन स्ट्रॉन्ग फीमेल कैरेक्टर्स सो technically in shakespearean comedy there are many subplots and who taught this thing robert green in fact robert green was the first man to criticize shakespeare usne bola ki he is an upstart crow and uh, beautified on our feathers so we aisa kaua hai jo hamare pankh laga ke ud raha hai means shakespeare ko bola shakespeare is a crow using our wings the wings of university wets so he looks beautiful because he has our wings then george pele george pele say he talked about the chronicle plays historical plays so shakespeare's richard ii richard iii henry iv v vi 6 7th 8th henry series ye sab george pele se copy kiya then we have thomas nash picaresque style picaresque style where a character is wandering in the jungle in the forest so picaresque style was copied or taken from thomas nash means If you remember, as you like it, the lovers are in the forest. In Midsummer's Night Dream, the lovers are in the forest. Hamlet becomes mad and goes for a wandering. So all types of picaresque element taken from Thomas Nash. Revenge tragedy. Thomas Kyd, Badla Lena. Hamlet is a revenge tragedy. Othello is a kind of revenge tragedy where Othello kills his wife for taking revenge for breaking his heart, breaking his trust. Then. we have other revenge tragedies titus andronicus uske baad kaun bacha hamare paas bachta hai uh, thomas laws political scenes political satires civil war jo uski book hai so shakespeare has imitated all these writers i believe i have answered all and uh, now comes christopher marlowe what did shakespeare learn from christopher marlowe everything everything but only for tragedies when i say everything remember not anything related to comedy marlow never wrote comedies please remember this point christopher marlow never wrote comedies but for tra- tragedy shakespeare copied everything from marlow aur isse badi cheez kya hogi it is believed that marlow was shakespeare marlow hi shakespeare tha aise mante hain marlow shakespeare tha so ab hum baat karte hain shakespeare ke plays ki So remember when Marlowe was writing tragedies, Shakespeare was writing comedies, and Shakespeare's career has been divided in four parts. यहाँ पे आपको याद रखना है. Before 1588, he tried to write, but then it was just some stagecraft, basic thing, and more or less disappeared. He disappeared for few years. बोलते हैं कि वो गायब हो गया था. Around 1585 to 1592, सात साल के लिए गायब हो गया था. then he came back started writing for stage and 
before 15 uh, 88 to 1594 he was disappeared and he wrote few comedies and disappeared 1595 to 1600 he has written good comedies so always remember the good comedies will always come between the duration of 1595 to 1600 but we are not talking about the publication we are talking about the stage performance remember that all the shakespearean plays will be published in 16 uh 20 yeah as i was i just missed it. 1623 sorry my bad 1623 all the shakespearean plays will be uh, published in 1623 and uh, published by two actors hemming and condell theek hai not 22 23 so other plays 15 uh, 95 to 1600 then all the great tragedies were from 1600 to 1608 then 168 to 1616 the last work where we have tempest pericles the minor works now we talk about how shakespeare has dealt with his stories the most important story from net point of view that you have to remember is taming of the shrew like most of the people are reading hamlet macbeth and other stories remember taming of the shrew has anti feminist theme taming of the shrew has anti feminist theme so what happens here here we have a girl she is fond of abusing she has a habit of cursing anyone and that's why nobody is married to her to wo bahut galiyan deti hai bahut galiyan deti catherine naam uska aur uh we can say that us mein comedy of humors ka concept hai that she is suffering from a kind of comedy of humors disbalance you will also remember that do we have any shakespearean character for her eccentric behavior yes catherine from taming of the shrew so she is of bad tongue she abuses anyone nobody wants to marry her her father is in depression and he announces that anyone who tries to marry her will be given the half of the property to so, kehte hain ki jo usse shaadi karega usko aadhi property mil jayegi ab property ke naam pe to kuch bhi ho jata hai log karte hi hain so ek ladka petrushio p e t r u c h i o petrushio goes to marry petrushio kehta hai chalo kis mein try kar lete hain ha lalach keh do ya ambitious bol do usse kuch bhi bol do Petrushio goes to meet girl's father and says uh, I want to try my luck I want to marry her Father says okay <laughs> Father says beta tum bhi galiyan sunna chahte ho sun lo so you want to have some abuses go meet her Petrushio goes to meet the girl and the moment the girl looks at him she says uh ti तो जैसे ही वो उसको देखती है वो तीन चार बढ़िया वाली यू कैन इमेजिन आपके स्टेट्स में आपके तरीके से कौन सी होती है सो so, सुना देती है वो बढ़िया वाली uh, आज मोस्टली कमेंट्स में कोई गालियां दे नहीं रहा नहीं तो पिछले सेशन में इन लास्ट सेशन दे राइवल्स दे ट्राइड देयर बेस्ट सो दैट कि आई विल स्टॉप टीचिंग लाइव उन्होंने बहुत गालियां लिखी थी तो अगर वो लिखते तो आई वुड हैव टोल्ड यू दैट दीज काइंड ऑफ so the girl started giving all those high five dignified abuses and the boy was ready to face this so boy said wow unbelievable what a melodious voice you have i have never heard the literary use of abuses the pun is different wow this abuse is so new this touched my heart So, लड़के ने क्या बोला क्या बात है ये होती है गालियां वाह क्या गालियां है ये तो दिल पे लगी मजा ही आ गया ये तो एकदम नहीं है इस गाली में तो क्या ग्रामेटिकल यूज हुआ है सो <laughs> so, अब लड़की को लगता है दैट दिस गाय कैन हैंडल मी ये तो गालियां वाले सुन के भी इज फाइन विद मी सो जी अब मोर एंड मोर बट ही कीप्स ऑन प्रेजिंग शादी की बात करने के लिए तारीफ ही तारीफ करता है कहता जी जो भी है बहुत अच्छा है नाइस अब्यूज कीप अब्यूजिंग व्हाट ऑफ मेलिडिस वॉइस यू हैव तो अब क्या होता है कि शादी हो जाती है एंड इन द मैरिज पेट्रोशियो ट्रेवल्स वो चांद बुझ के समय पे नहीं आता है शादी के लिए शी गेट्स इरिटेटेड शी अब्यूज 
आफ्टर मैरिज जब शादी हो जाती है पेट्रोशियो सेज दैट वी आर हजबेंड एंड वाइफ एंड आई मस्ट शेयर द नेचर लाइक वी शेयर हाफ लाइफ तुम अर्धांगिनी हो सो वी मस्ट शमी मशरफ पन इन गाली एंड माई वे I just wanted to say so that you understand. So, Petrusio says that husband wife should share everything. I will share your habit, and I will also do the same. So now they have to go back. A barat ghar vapas jagi. Barat has to go back after a wedding. Girl has to re- go to the husband's house. So when the uh, uh, cart comes, this chariot comes, horse chariot. Jab rath aata hai, so he starts abusing the chariot rider. He says. थर्ड क्लास आदमी घटिया आदमी ये क्या घोड़े हैं दिस इज बैड दिस इज बैड सो जब वो अब्यूज करता है तो चैरिट राइडर रन जाओ एंड ही सेज माई क्वीन विल वॉक टू द पैलेस पैदल चल के जाएंगे हम जब वो वहां पहुंचता है आसे भी पानी देते यार जब वो वहां पहुंचता है तो वहां पे खाना ऑफर होता है सो हीट्स एवरी थिंग एंड स्टार्ट अब्यूजिंग एवरी फूड करसिंग एवरी फूड दिस इज टेस्ट नॉट टेस्टी दिस इज वेरी कोल्ड दिस इज वेरी हॉट this is very spicy this is very bad so come here come here so that's how he uh uh curses everything jab rest karne ka time aata hai he curses the cushions he says bed bada bekar hai cushions are bad pillows are bad so he makes her hungry stay hungry he makes her eat uh, sit in the uh, ground sleep in the ground and uh after this like this is the treatment it goes on for one month he abuses everything her maid servants nobody is there to take care of her after one month three friends they are talking to each other and uh, they are like let's see whose wife is more obedient see tiger is also listening tiger bhi net pass kar jayega i'm sure so uh, three of these friends they say whose wife is you know a kind of uh, किसकी बीवी आज्ञाकारी है ओबीडियंट है तो तीनों अपनी वाइफ को मैसेंजर भेजते हैं कि लेट सी जिसकी वाइफ सबसे पहले आएगी वो जीतेगा सो थ्री ऑफ दिम दिस सेंड द मैसेंजर्स एंड दिस लेडी शी जस्ट लीव्स एवरीथिंग एंड रन्स लाइक एन इनोसेंट पेट रीचिंग द फर्स्ट एंड मेक्स एवरीवन फील दैट ही इज द वन हु इज विनर मैसेज इज दैट How Petruccio controlled that lady, tamed that lady. Say kya, galat kya? Was it right or wrong? Batayiye, likhiye. Shishka, ne say kya, galat kya? Say kahani hai? Ha, bhai, tiger, sahi hai? Tiger keh raha hai, mujhe kya fark padta hai? Mujhe khane se matlab hai. Okay, no, no, no. Somebody has written groomed her. No. Okay, always remember this is not a way to treat a lady. I'm telling you this. That's my idea, my uh, culture coming from my family. An eye for an eye will make the whole world blind. Aankh ke badle aankh sab andhe ho jayenge. That was the wrong way of treating a lady. What if your wife is suffering from something? Will you torture her? this is wrong by torturing you can control an animal but that doesn't mean that you will change the heart of the animal if you don't make her eat obviously she will listen to you but that was wrong so remember that was wrong now second thing so remember this story has anti feminist theme theme anti feminist theme now the second story that you have to remember the most important story is merchant of venice because here we have casteism or we can simply say the religious or racial inequality merchant of venice has two best friends besenio and antonio if i'm wrong please check kar lena i think yahi hai antonio besenio they are fast friends antonio is very rich bahut ameer hai businessman hai besenio is a spend thrift and a prodigal person besenio keeps on uh, spending money हमेशा पैसे खत्म हो जाते हैं मांगता रहता है ब्यूटीफुल गर्ल एंड आई वॉन्ट टू मैरी हर 
So Antonio says, okay, go and marry. He said, no, no, no. To marry her, I need some money. And the money amount is 3,000 ducats. Please remember, they may ask you a question. 3,000 ducats. Now, see what happens. I've written this 3,000 ducats. You can check it. So what happens? Antonio says that I have invested everything in the business. So I have no money. Or... Uh, I'm running out of money, but you go to the market, take money on my name, on my credit, and I will pay on your behalf. Bessenu goes to the market asking the people to lend him money, but nobody has money. This is the business month season. Everybody has invested. So nobody has money. So now what happens? They find one man who has money. Shylock. Shylock has money. Now Shylock is a Jew. Remember that Shylock is a Jew and being Jewish in Christian domination was some religious issue. Shylock says that I cannot help you. Why should I help you? I will help you. I will just answer this. Ki Shakespeare said Taming of the Shrew. See Shakespeare was not a feminist. Okay. So obviously he said the point of view. This is the modern time so we know it was wrong so coming back Shylock said that why should I help you Antonio doesn't like me means Christian Antonio doesn't like Jew Shylock and moreover he calls me a dog publicly Shylock says that he insults me he humiliates me he hates me for being of different religion why should I help you and he calls me a dog publicly and moreover he says please write this line this line he says if you prick us do we not bleed if you hit us? Do we not avenge? Please go and look. If you prick, kanta chubana. Agar aap hume poke karte hain, kanta pin karte hain, to do we not bleed? Kya hum insan nahi hain? Hume khun nahi nikalta hai. And if you hit us, to kya hum badla nahi lenge? So that's how he says that uh, if you prick us, do we not bleed? If you hit us, do we not avenge? So he says that even I hate him. I won't give money. But then finally he makes a plan. He says, okay, one condition I can give you money. And the condition is, if Bessenio does not return money within three months, three months, the money is not back. You can see that it's a double. He says that if the money is not back, Shylock will cut one pound flash from Antonio's body. Shylock Antonio ki body say one pound flash means 400 gram mass. 400. Last me bolega wo ki uh, my mass kaha se ka dunga. So he says ki uh, then only I'll give you money. So Antonio thinks Shylock must be kidding as a con karta who does like that. So must be he is joking and uh, let's do this. Moreover Antonio was very sure that his money will return and if if his money doesn't return he has many other friends so he can take money and give it Ab kya hua? Paisa mil gaya. now the money has been given and then okay hold on Sushant Singh you can guide me separately Sushant Singh aapka guidance I can handle separately but here there are many students those who know the basic stories so unko bhi idea but I'm talking about some different point of views. So in case you are at higher level, you can text me separately. So now what happens here? The money has been given to this guy, Bessenio. Bessenio goes to meet Portia. Portia's father has conditioned three different things. And the condition is to marry Portia, there are three different box. Some golden box, silver box, and bronze. Three different box. And one must pick the right box to find out the portrait of Portia. So if you want to marry her, pick the right box and the right box has portrait of Portia. If you pick the wrong box, you will have to, you will have to avoid this. Means you will never marry or you will property give your property. So if you go to such condition, you will get married. If you have made a mistake, then you will not get married. So what if in case you made a mistake? You won't marry and uh, moreover you have to give you half of the property. But 
you know the challenges were accepted by the noble man this was a fashion to challenge impossible things so six people they reach there please remember that six people they may ask you question jo abhi yahan pe ek sir likh rahe the na ki this is basic unko bhi nahi pata hoga ki kitne log jate hain wahan pe six people reach there duke of norway duke of burgundy four more people they all fail mesenio goes and finds out mesenio goes and picks the right box now remember these three box have three different lines paper mein agar question aa gaya na pick the wrong one so you remember a b c and the wrong one first golden one golden box says i am the one everyone desires the silver one says i am the one everyone wants to have wants to get bronze says that i am the one everyone deserves main wo hu jo sab deserve karte hain so he picked the bronze one the leaden one so make sure remember the lines and quotes net mein aise bhari question aate hain they ask minute questions it is also believed the shakespearean critics say that bessonio is not the hero so how bessonio could be so intelligent to find out the right box because in most of the shakespearean stories it is just the hero only who is smart rest are the normal people how bessonio took the challenge went for the greatest challenge ever that in case you fail you will never marry and uh, he found the right box so what happens here it is believed the critics believe the critics say that portia was in love with bessonio she must have helped him in opening scenes bessonio tells antony antonio that i have seen some gestures from portia's side and i feel that she is in love love with me so what happens he has found the right box now he is very smart ab shaadi ho jati hai shaadi hone ke baad ek smart ladka kya karega so ek shaadi hone ke baad ek smart ladka kya kar sakta hai sabse badi smart hai khas karke bessenio jaisa bessenio stays with his in laws he doesn't even return he stays with his in laws bessenio टाइगर खुश हो गया स्मार्टेस्ट के नाम पे टाइगर कह रहा मेरे जैसा सो ही स्टेज विद हिज इन लॉज एंड हाँ वही घर जाओ वही एंड डज गो सो अब क्या होता है फॉगोटन हिज फ्रेंड आफ्टर थ्री मंथ्स तीन महीने पास हो गए सो वन मैसेजर कम्स एंड सेज दैट कि योर फ्रेंड इज गोइंग टू डाई एंटनी इज गोइंग टू डाई फॉर द सेक ऑफ फ्रेंडशिप and uh, he has given you blessings and you enjoy your married life wo bechara dost ki madad karke phas gaya so yes king lear bhi aayega to ab pata kya hai ab kya hoga ki kya bolte hain uh, what do we call this guy bessenio he tells the story to portia that how he has taken money and uh, he tells that i must save my best friend so he takes money and goes to meet the uh, shylock in the court now remember this thing ki ankit galat aap mat dekhiye na agar aapko mera dog pasand nahi hai to yaar ek to live session bhi karu usme bhi aapke according karu kya aur waise bhi disturb nahi kar raha janwar hai kya pata usi ki dhua lag jaye don't hate okay so come back uh, don't trouble me with these comments unnecessary comments let me teach okay कहां पे था इन द कोर्ट सीन ड्यूक इज देयर शाइलॉक इज देयर एंड एंटनी इज देयर बेसेनियो कम्स बेसेनियो रिक्वेस्ट द ड्यूक एंड ड्यूक सेज द शाइलॉक प्लीज डोंट किल एंटनी टेक मनी एंड द कोर्ट विल पे सो ही सेज नो आई डोंट वॉन्ट मनी आई वॉन्ट जस्टिस देन बेसेनियो कम्स एंड सेज ओके Pay two times six thousand to get. You paid three thousand. You take six thousand. Spare my friend. Pardon my friend. He says no. I want justice. Then Bessenio says okay. Take three times. Three bar jada lelo. Three times more. Nine thousand to get. Then he says no, no, no. I don't want. Now remember this. When Duke says that do not do this. Do not kill this man. Shylock says that yes. I will pardon him. but i will tell everyone that in a christian dominated country a country dominated by christian jew doesn't get justice so duke also becomes silent because he knows this is uh, politically wrong uh, he must have the favor of jews to ab kya hota hai 
कि बेसेनियोज असिस्टेंट पोर्शिया पोर्शिया बिकम्स द लॉयर इन द डिस्गाइज और वो लॉयर बन के आ जाती है वहां पे नाउ रिमेंबर द डिस्गाइज नेम लॉयर कुछ नाम होता है उसका सीजर या समथिंग कुछ नाम होता है नाउ व्हाट हैपेंस शी सेज दैट आई वांट टू रीड द डॉक्यूमेंट सो व्हेन शी रीड्स द डॉक्यूमेंट नाउ रिमेंबर दैट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट दिस इज द सीन व्हेन शाइलॉक इज शार्पनिंग हिज नाइफ सिजेरियो यस सिजेरियो इज द नेम Portia comes in disguise of Cesario, becomes the lawyer, and अब क्या होता है कि जब court proceeding is going on, Shylock is sharpening the knife. Imagine, imagine that you are Antonio. Somebody is going to take one pound flash from your body, and Shylock says, "I will take the flash from the heart." क्या था near the heart, दिल के पास से means he wants to kill. He has an intention to kill. ठीक है So, अब क्या होता है अब क्या होता है कि शाइलॉक इज शार्पनिंग द नाइफ यू कैन सिंपली इमेजिन लाइक दिस इज डूइंग लाइक दिस शार्पनिंग द नाइफ कैन यू फील द पेन कैन यू फील द पेन ओके ओके आई मेक यू फील हाउ मेन ऑफ यू हैव टेकन इंजेक्शन ऑलमोस्ट एवरी वन इंजेक्शन लगाए ना सबको इंजेक्शन लगे The most painful thing is when the doctor does like that. Let jump. So this is the injection. Doctor does like that, and you, <laughs> with your helpless eyes, look at that cruel injection in the hands of doctor, and then doctor will be like, "Let jump, Shabash," and he will rub your body like this, and slowly, 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 it goes to you. That's most painful. ऐसा होता है कि मार दो यार बट डोंट डू दीज थिंग्स दिस इज हैपनिंग शाइलॉक इज शार्पनिंग द नाइफ इतना बड़ा चाकू के सामने रॉबिनसन द क्रिटिक सेज दैट दैट्स वन ऑफ द मोस्ट स्केरी सीन ऑफ एलिजाबेथन स्टेज रिमेंबर दैट रॉबिनसन सेज दैट वन ऑफ द मोस्ट स्केरी सीन ऑफ एलिजाबेथन एज है वेयर ही वाज शार्पनिंग हिज नाइफ कहते हैं एलिजाबेथन क्राउड रो पड़ा होगा इट इज बिलीव्ड दैट दे मस्ट हैव क्राइड द एलिजाबेथन पीपल वाचिंग दिस प्ले That why this is happening. So अब क्या होता है कि जब ये चीजें चल रही होती हैं तो this lady reads the document and says that it is clearly mentioned that Shylock can take one pound flash. So everybody is like yes right सही बोला है he is right and Shylock becomes happy because the lawyer came and lawyer gave the verdict in his side. So he says. Oh, what a face of justice! Oh, son of Daniel. Let me ask you a question: Who is called the son of Daniel in the book? Lawyer. Daniel is the god of justice. हाँ, आ गया एक लड़का यहाँ पे. अबे कुत्ता बीच में मत लाना. अमित तेरे से महंगा है भाई. तेरे से ज़्यादा महंगा है. और ऐसे language मत बोलो. उसके लिए मैंने मेरा जवाब ऐसे ही आएगा. अच्छा, क्या बोलते हैं उसको? <laughs> कहीं मैंने पढ़ा था देश चुनौतियों से परेशान नहीं है देश इनसे परेशान है सो ओके कहा पे था आजा बेटा तेरे से चिड़ रहा है हाँ सो नव हैपन्स ही रीड दिस थिंग एंड सेज ओके यू कट वन पॉइंट फ्लैश सो वेन यू गोज टू कट वन पॉइंट फ्लैश इज सेज वेट वेट स्टॉप एंड सेज डोंट शेड इवन अ सिंगल ड्रॉप ऑफ ब्लड Do not shed even a single drop of blood. Halka sa bhi khun mat girana. And here Antonio shouts, "Oh, what a face of justice! Oh, son of Daniel!" Public jaws are chillati. And Shylock understands that he has been trapped. He cannot do anything. He says, "Give me nine thousand ducats." Lawyer says, "You denied to take nine thousand ducats, so no money." Then he says, "Okay, give me some three thousand only." Lawyer says no three thousand. You will take justice only. You wanted justice. अब आपको न्याय ही लेना पड़ेगा. We'll have to take justice. So finally, lawyer says that Antonio should be left pardoned. Shylock's property should be taken by the state, and half property should be given to his daughter. There can be a question that Shylock's half property was taken by the king. Thus, uh, this uh, you know, Shylock's half property was taken by the state. half property was given to his daughter remember that so this is known as a comedy hovering at the brink of tragedy 
it is said by robinson please write that a comedy hovering h o v e r i n g at the brink of tragedy this is by robinson please remember that a comedy hovering at the brink of tragedy now we're going to talk about the next story 12th night i'm telling you the important stories and uh, yes i know it is not possible to sum up shakespeare in one lecture only we will have three more lectures two to three lectures talking about see hamlet we're going to study hamlet from feminist point of view tempest from post colonial point of view so make sure you come back uh, on given the given timings if you are new here subscribe it so that you will get informations theek hai okay so uh, make sure you subscribe so that you will get information regarding the other classes now we talk about 12th night 12th night is set in italy now remember that it is set in italy because most of the shakespearean plays are either set in rome or in the british areas 12th night is set in italy so make sure you remember that now what happens in the opening scene we find duke orsino o r s i n o he is in love with olivia and duke orsino says if music be the food of love play on remember one of the most opening uh, famous opening line if music be the food of love play on us samay agar dhinchak pooja hoti to duke bolta aise batao if music be the food of love play on if music can gratify my desires socho ki duke keh raha if music be the food of love and background mein dhinchak puja comes so <laughs> वैसे uh, she is also an english literature student from ip university <laughs> let's see net karne ka baat hi ho so uh, now what happens duke is in love with olivia olivia doesn't reciprocate her his love and uh, this love story has a sudden turn what happens here a ship is wrecked a ship is destroyed and a twin sebastian and voila they are separated to ek pani ka jahaz hai wo doob jata hai wahan pe do judwa bhai bahan hai wo alag alag ho jate hain they get separated so sebastian and voila they come to the same city but they don't know about the other one means brother thinks sister voila is dead voila thinks brother is dead okay but they are in the same city so ab kya hota hai <laughs> kisne likha duke behosh ho jata yes so ab kya hota hai ki uh, voila is a girl in an unknown city to protect her to make her safe she disguises herself wo apne aap ko disguise kar leti hai as a male and gets a job becomes the page of the duke orsino so duke orsino ki assistant ban jati hai uh, maid ban jati hai but doesn't tell that i am a girl orsino is in love orsino doesn't do anything us samay net ka exam bhi nahi tha ki orsino net ki taiyari kare so orsino kya karta hai sirf pyar mohabbat ki baatein karta hai he keeps on talking love 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 this makes voila being a woman feel for him and she falls in love with duke orsino ab kya hota hai Orsino says Voila uh, asks Voila to carry his love letters to Olivia. Orsino bolta hai take my love letters. He doesn't know Voila is a girl. He says take my love letters and go and give it to Olivia. Voila in the disguise of male looks like her brother. She goes to meet Olivia. Olivia finds a cute messenger, a cute boy and she falls in love with Voila's disguise. Olivia doesn't know कि ये लड़का है. अब क्या होता है? Orsino is in love with Olivia. Olivia is in love with Voila. Voila is in love with Orsino. Tribus triangle, love triangle. Orsino loves Olivia. Olivia loves Voila. Voila loves Orsino. <laughs> okay, now we will stop the story here. A subplot. There is another subplot. How? Uh, Voila chooses to disguise herself to be safe in an unknown city. ठीक है, unknown city. अब क्या होता है? There is another story going on. There is a character Malvolio, most important character Malvolio. Please note that. He is a Puritan. 
Now, remember this serious point. This is a serious point. Shakespeare has made fun of Puritans. That shows Shakespeare was kind of Christian against Puritans. Milton was a Puritan. Puritans were those people, those who were very different and very, uh, you know, we can say very diehard religious people. Hamesha God, God, God ki baat karte. They were very strong religious mindset people, right? So, Puritan ka maza kuda hai. Ab dekho kya hota hai. Malvelio is in love with Olivia and thinks that Olivia loves him back. So, Malvelio, the Puritan, the religious man, he thinks that Olivia loves him and he loves Olivia. So, ab kya hota hai? He is always happy. He is always happy that Olivia secretly loves him and one day she will accept his love. True. That was a kind of psychological disorder. Kabhi socha aapne, jaysay humari heroines hai. Take any name, Deepika, Sonakshi, Bollywood heroines. Inke jo bodyguard hote hai. The bodyguards, their hairdressers, their cab drivers. They are normal people, average people. So when these girls, they behave good to them. So sometimes they feel that this is love. This is kind of acceptance. So as a behavior, thinking that somebody is in love with you. That's a kind of psychological disorder. So what happens? Malvelio keeps on smiling, keeps on happy. And this behavior of Malvelio irritates an uncle of Olivia known as Uncle Toby. Now, you have to write an important point here. The one who is now giving us knowledge, the lecture is giving us high five. In this book, Uncle Toby is the only English name. All other characters are Italian names. Please remember that. Puri Bik mein sirf ek hi aisa hai Uncle Toby who has Toby Belch, English name. Toby Belch, only name in English. Okay, please remember that. You will not know anyone else. Only you will know that. So, now what happens here? Toby wants to make fun of Malvelio and he calls his mistress Maria. Okay. He wanted to teach him a lesson, so he called his mistress Maria. And he asked that please copy handwriting of Olivia and write some love letters. Maria copied the handwriting of the queen Olivia and wrote some love letters talking about the love of Olivia for this uh, Malvelio. Now, see what happens. Letter me kya hai? That when you dress up in your yellow stockings, yellow shocks, long yellow shocks, yellow dress, you look damn good. You look very good. When you uh, smile, you look good. And here, the letter says, Keep smiling even if I ask you not to do that. So technically the message is that keep smiling even if I ask you to stop it in presence of others because I won't mean it. Keep laughing. Keep happy uh, in front of me. Keep showing me your teeth. And moreover, your yellow dress in your yellow dress. Okay? Now what happens? Malvelio finds these letters actually plant and there is a beautiful line in the letters please read and remember some are born great some achieve greatness some have greatness thirst upon them some are born great kuch mahan paida hote hain rahul gandhi ankit it's okay it's okay ankit nagar it's okay some are born great means rahul gandhi some achieve greatness abdul kalam some have greatness, thirst upon them. Kuch ko jabajasti mahan banaya jata hai. Hello friends, chai pilo. Aya sonj mein? Did you get that? Hello friends, chai pilo. Okay, okay, okay. Bahut hi kohra hai, kohra hi kohra hai. Aaj hum asman ki uchaiyo mein. Ek chiz to hai, tum pakka hi bolo ke ki. And this is, I'm enjoying teaching you. Maza aara padhane mein. So, samaj gaya na? Kuch logo ko. Haan, wohi cheez. Kuch logo ko mahan badaya jata hai. Social media ne bada diya. 
some are born great some achieve greatness some have greatness thrust upon them the beautiful line written in the love letters for malvelio ab next day malvelio dress ban kiya jata hai now next day malvelio is in yellow dress olivia is upset olivia has lost her cousin her cousin she is sad she says why are you dressed up like that in yellow dress i don't like it he keeps on smiling ab usne letter mein it was written in the letter that keep uh, smiling so she says for heaven sake don't smile don't laugh don't show me your teeth i am mourning the death of my cousin i am in shock please don't do that but this guy keeps on smiling keeps on smiling and she finally puts him in the prison usse jail mein dal deti hai and malvelio thinks thinks that she will come to meet him usse wo jail mein bhi milne aayi he is still happy now the scene again olivia starts forcing voila to marry olivia kehti hai ki marry me my queen ho tum queen king ban jaoge theek hai okay so uh, olivia says please marry me voila cannot marry her voila is a girl ab wo bata bhi nahi sakti hai theek hai so what happens here olivia his guards her guards they find sebastian roaming in the streets they think it is the disguise of voila the assistant only the messenger they take him in front of olivia now sebastian doesn't know what's going on he is taken in front of the queen and queen says i'm asking you for the last time i'm asking you for one last time do you want to marry me and be the king now she was asking this from sebastian not from voila sebastian was like meri to nikal padi unknown city mein rani keh rahi hai shaadi kar lo so sebastian he was lucky he thought like this is called luck unknown city and a queen says queen is forcing you to marry he said yes yes i'm ready marriage olivia got married to sebastian duke orsino ka dil toot jata hai wo bechara do char gaane gaata hai sad ho ke so when he starts lamenting the heartbreak voila says that don't cry i am girl i am voila i am in love with you so duke orsino marries voila olivia marries sebastian and later toby marries this lady maria so that's a beautiful story here and remember it has use of music there are many devices which were used primarily the first use of sintram sintram device was used in 12th night and remember the attack on puritans is the important theme of 12th night moreover this book has been given a subtitle what you will please remember that shakespeare was not habitual of giving subtitles so it is believed that he was not sure about the title so he asked us to choose a title what you will so 12th night particularly is not related to the story so it just that this may be or it was performed around 12th night of some uh, famous christian celebration now remember this uh it's around 1 hour and uh, it's monday so we will have a session on thursday thursday ko we will be dealing with feminist study of hamlet post colonial study of tempest king lear and tragic elements are in king lear including hamarshia peripatia anagnorisis catharsis and we will deal with macbeth and the fourth which concept of lady macbeth ye char books hum karenge next lecture mein if you are a new student please subscribe it and yes i will suggest you if you want to go for the lectures on cultural studies lit theories and so the syllabus point of view then you should join the online classes the professional courses because there we're going to start with literary theories once we are done with all the literary theories in my way known as vinith pande style and see i just know make topics easy for students i never use mugged up language i never use bookish language i try my best to make things easy because i simply believe that if you understand it here you will translate the things so if you want you can join by contacting me on 8587035827 and remember please go for knowledge qualifying net 
was my dream just for one net. After that, I went for knowledge, and this is the reason I'm seven times net qualified with double JRF. Go for knowledge, enjoy learning. Kahani ko enjoy karo. Apne aap yaad rahega. You will always remember if you enjoy the story. So, good night. Bye bye. And uh, sorry for Tiger. Tiger ne aapko thoda sa. I'm sure he's cute. So, bye bye. Take care. Thursday ko milte hain. Take care. And those who are calling me best, share the video. Agar aapko sachme mein best lagta hu, if you actually feel I'm good. Share the video. Tell people to watch it. Bye-bye.